Welcome back friends. In this uh, short video section, we'll be talking about uh, the satellite DNA. Okay. Now, so, we'll be talking about satellite DNA or DNA satellite molecules, which are uh, most of the cases found in eukaryotic system, right? So, they are found in eukaryotic system. Okay. Now, what are these DNA satellites and why they are termed so? Now, a DNA satellite means they are a short segment of DNA sequences. Okay. Now, eukaryotic genome is very large and it is made up with many different types of sequences. Some of them are coding, some of them are non-coding. And among the eukaryotic genome, total eukaryotic genome, so let me write it here. If we talk about total eukaryotic genome, now in this whole eukaryotic genome, we are having maximum non-coding sequences, non-coding sequences and very few coding regions. Now, what we are talking about in this case belongs to non-coding type of sequences. Now, in this non-coding type of sequences, we can have repeated sequences. Okay, so sequence repeats. This sequence repeats are termed as satellite DNA. Okay, now what kind of repeats we are talking about? Now, the repeats can be of, say, uh, suppose the sequence is made up with C and A, cytosine and adenosine. And the repeat can be of like that. So if it is made up with cytosine and adenosine, it could be C, A, C, A, C, A, C, A, C, A. For example, like this, there is a stretch of repeat sequences, right? Or it could be the repeat sequence, uh, for example, say, say to, in this case, uh, only a major, many repeats, like say, uh, a C G G C T A A C G G C T A and so on. So it can move like that. So you can get this type of stretch or repeat sequences in, in, in the human genome uh, as an example or in the genome of eukaryotic organisms. Now the repeat sequence that we are looking at in this case, it could be made up with only two nucleotide stretch or it can be made up with here as you can see 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 nucleotide stretch. So in such a way, we can have actually uh, up to say 25 base pair sequence repeats or we can also have 2 base pair sequence repeat to 4 base pair sequence repeats. So it varies. Sometimes we get only 2 base pair repeats. That means CA, 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 CA and repeat, uh, repeatedly present in many times, right? Uh, sometimes we can have repeat sequence for 20 nucleotide stretch. So here are 20 stretch of nucleotide sequence and we have a repeat of that 20 nucleotide sequence throughout the genome. For example, in this case what we are seeing, we are seeing 6 nucleotide, 6 BP or 6 nucleotide repeat sequence in both these cases in such a way. Okay. Now these are the major two types of repeat sequence that are usually found. Now in this first type, what you see only two to four type of repeat sequences, which are short nucleotide repeat sequence. These are called, as they are short, these are called mi microsatellites. Okay. So these are called, so let me write it here. These are called microsatellites. On the other hand, we can have repeat sequences of 20 to 25 base pairs long. And these kind of satellites are called mini satellites. They are also small stretch because if you compare this stretch of nucleotide sequence to the whole genome, this should be a very small fraction, right? So these are also short stretch of nucleotide sequence, but they are present at least 20 to 25 base pair repeats. So we call it mini satellites. So these are the two major types of satellite sequences that are found inside our body. Now, what is the beauty of these satellite sequences or repeat sequences is that these repeat sequences that we get can vary from person to person. Now, as they are varying from person to person, what they give a rise? They give a rise to what is called polymorphism. That means in a particular locus of your chromosome, if you are having a sequence repeat for four times, CA repeat for four times, in the same locus of a uh, my chromosome, I may have the CA repeat for three times. I may not have for this four times, right? I may have for eight times. So these are the variations between your genome with my genome, right? So this kind of nucleotide repeat variations enable us or allow us to make a profiling to get the DNA fingerprinting of human beings.
that's the important part okay so what they help us to achieve they help us to achieve to understand polymorphism right and also we can understand this polymorphism using simple techniques that all of those techniques are uh, designed to understand this repeat sequences and due to those are possible due to the presence of this repeat sequences so thank to the presence of this repeat sequences there right now among these micro satellites that I have told you that they can have two to four base pair repeat sequences like that now we can also divide these micro satellites into two or two major two types actually what we can find in this case in many cases this micro satellites can have a flanking region right suppose uh, in this case we are having a flanking region of G C C T for example here also G C G A G for example these are the flanking regions of this microsatellite that means these are the uh, conserved region these are not variable from you to me the variable region is this between region or the region this is present here which are the repeat sequences so you can have four repeats I can have six time repeat of CA and some other person can have eight time repeats of this CA right but this part of the section this flanking region of the section will be constant to all of us okay in most of the cases now this kind of repeat sequences that we can see in the middle they are called SSR or simple sequence repeats they are called simple sequence repeats we can have this kind of repeat sequences okay so these are called simple sequence repeats or SSR so let me write it here it means simple sequence repeats okay and there are a, another type of repeat that can be found for example let's imagine say suppose this is the same thing that is seen here ca 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 suppose like that and we are having some other kind of region say g c c g a t c and then again what we are having we are having ca 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 so suppose we are having this kind of sequence now in this case the difference is we are having repeats regions in the terminal side and we are having constant region at the middle that's the difference between these two cases because in this cases we are having constant in both this terminal let me take a red color here is a constant here is a constant this is a variable part now in this case this is variable terminal regions are variable but the middle part is a constant right okay so if we also look for this kind of repeats these are different of that so these are called inter sequence repeat why they are called inter simple sequence repeat because if we compare this kind of sequence of you with me what kind of variety that we can get the variations we can get is difference in this middle we can get the difference in the middle right so what kind of difference that we can get okay so so say this repeat sequences are different from you and me so this this stretch of the middle can can be differ can differ right so due to the difference between this kind of segments we can have difference in length if we amplify this part of the section it for for some of us this could be a type for for rest of the us uh, it could be different kind so these are called inter simple sequence repeat or ISSR inter simple sequence repeat okay so these are the two different kind of situation that we can find we can find uh, constant region both this direction variable at the middle we can find variable at both this direction constant at the middle so we can have these two type of sequences in this picture okay okay and another thing that I want to tell you is as what we can see that uh, we can have variations in the sequences variations in the number uh, from uh, you from uh, then me in to somebody else uh, so with this kind of variations that they are varying from person to person the repeats are also varying they are also called variable number tandem repeat now what do we mean by tandem repeat tandem repeat means one type of repeat that means a type of sequence repeat is 
repeated again and again and again throughout the genome. So as you can see here, the CA, 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 CA is going on like the same type of repeat sequence. We call it a tandem type of repeat. As this number is varying from person to person, we can call it variable number, tandem repeat, or in the short, we can call it VNTR. So these are the terminologies that you can get in different exams, VNTRs, SSRs, ISSRs, and obviously uh, microsatellites, mini satellites, and all these things. And I hope this video helps you to understand this concept. But again, if you uh, uh, want to understand this ISSR, VNTR, SSR in detail, you can ha have I, uh, you can see different videos that we can share in this YouTube channel of mine. You can find there how we can amplify this ISSR and SSR for the gene uh, studies, for the genomic profiling, and also for the gene uh, DNA fingerprinting. So they are the application of all of this is for the DNA fingerprinting and create the genomic profiling. Okay, so that's it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.